Hi YouTube. Um, it's your girl, Miss Uniquely Defined. Sorry about the sun. Let me. Is that better? I just want a little light in here. I see like it made it worse. Okay. Okay. That's gonna have to do for now. Um. Hey guys, like, what's up? Like, what is really going on? Um, <laughs> I know I've been missing in action. Um, you know, life with a child is just like really, really, really. I don't want to say stressful, but time consuming. That's the better word. Um, Jordan is doing well. Every we are all fine. I'm just enjoying her so much. Um, the the pressure and in, in the burden comes from school because I'm doing an internship. Like I'm just finishing up my master's. I told you guys a long time ago. And school and then getting her over to my grandma's house who watches her and just hustling, bustling, doing assignments while she's crying. It's it's difficult, but I manage. So, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, everything is just awesome. So, once I get through the semester, it'll be smooth sailing. But, nevertheless, I wanted to come to you guys with the topic I promised you I was going to come and talk about, which is Debbie Dad working it out for the child. Um, Let me turn this down because she fell asleep watching <laughs> cartoons. Feel like I'm yelling. Okay. Um, the reason I chose to talk about this topic is because it's something that's near and dear to me, being though I'm a single mom. Um, I have help. Like my baby, she my my boo, yeah. She helps me out <laughs> a lot. But, you know, as far as Jordan having her other parent is where my concern comes in. Um I feel that a child should have their dad in their lives, um, whether if it was not unplanned and unplanned pregnancy, whether, uh, you know, it was planned, whatever. I just feel like a man should be responsible and, and you know, just fulfill his duty as a man and be there for the child. And it just really pisses me the fuck off. Sorry. But I'm upset about, I'm really upset, I, I feel stuck way about this, but that people just, you know what I'm saying, think that things, they could just like put in the back of their mind and not even, you know, speak about it or acknowledge the fact that they have a child in the world. It's just insane to me. But the reason I chose to really talk about this, other than my strong feelings about it, is because um, me personally, I haven't seen Jordan's father since January. Yes, 2010, top of the year. I haven't seen him since then. That's I was think I was two months into my pregnancy at the time, and he pretty much didn't want me to have her. He has a child already, which he didn't want her either. Um, <laughs> he didn't he didn't want her. He wanted the girl to have an abortion as well. But you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 strong woman. Any other chick you know, might have had the abortion. But me, I'm thinking regardless if he's going to be around or not, I still got to do what I feel is best, and that was to birth my child. Um, and I couldn't have made a better decision, you know. Um, and now I look at it like, damn, this dude is really, you know what I'm saying, not acknowledging her. Like, just because I didn't do what you wanted me to do, you... Don't call, you don't email, you delete me as your friend on MySpace, like, who really is on MySpace anymore? Like, that doesn't bother me. Um, but he's just lame, and I just feel like it sucks on the behalf of Jordan, because she's the one who's going to ultimately suffer. But I know that life goes on, and she can still have father figures in her life, which is not what I want for her, but I'll take it as a, as a, as a backup, you know? Um... But, you know, I just really sit and wonder sometimes, like, what am I going to say to her when she does ask me? Which won't be too long from now. Um, I'll say two years, you know, when you start going to daycare and seeing both parents come to pick up the other kids and or a dad or 
something like that, and she's just like, well, where's my dad? And then that, you know, it might come up around there, and I'm just really, you know, confused as to what to tell her. Um, I'm not going to bash him, because that's just not even my style, but I am going to let her know that I'm here for her, and I ultimately have her best interest at heart. And I'll put it in lighter words, but ultimately, she'll know, you know what I'm saying, that she's loved by me and that I'm going to be both her mom and her dad you know simple as that but I just wanted to get a take on how you guys feel because some of you are single parents um it's, it's a hard job it's like it's really like a full-time job in itself and I know you guys probably have some feelings in regards to you know what I'm saying the the dad or whatever not being there not being in a child's life or if he is there not being there the way he should so it, it, it's it's always, you know what I'm saying, controversy over, um, <clears throat> it's always controversy over, um, you know what I'm saying, how well the man is fulfilling his duty as a father. Um, I, I don't believe coming to see her 30 minutes um, to an hour is considered being a dad. I don't believe uh, bringing clothes, pampers, and... I don't know, Jordan's <laughs> is being a father. Um, I don't believe calling to, to put to ask the can I speak to my daughter or, or son um, is being a father. Um, it, it's just it's just so much more to fulfilling that role as a dad that these dudes just do not have any idea of what it entails. Like it's just sad to me. Um, but I'm just venting, y'all, and I know everybody's situation is individualized, so everybody might not relate exactly to what I'm saying, but either way, if you're a single parent, something has happened between you and that the guy, and you know what I'm saying, regardless if it happened as if you didn't want it, if he just went out the picture after you had the baby, if y'all was together and just broke up, whatever, you know what I'm saying, it's just a fucked up situation to be in, okay, as a mom, to be in that situation. Um, nevertheless, I know my daughter is going to love me unconditionally, and I will definitely do the same. I'm feeling definitely mutual, but it's just something that's always on my mind, guys, and I just don't know how to approach the situation. So if you guys have advice, if you have um, a child that, you know, who's older now, who's already posed the question to you as to where's the dad or you know what I'm saying, where's my daddy, or where's a father figure, period, Where, where's, where's a guy, why is it just me and you, mommy, you know what I'm saying, tell me how you handled that, because I would really like to know, I saw the dude maybe about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I saw her father, I wanted to run him over, he ain't see me, but I wanted to run him over with my damn car, like that's, that's how strong my hatred is for him, and hate is a very strong word, but that's how I feel, you know what I'm saying, it just trips me out, y'all, but on a lighter note, me and Jordan are okay. She's asleep right now, so I can't show you. Uh, can't show her to you, but um, she had a doctor's appointment today. She's 10 pounds, 8 ounces. Um, I believe 21 and a half inches. So she's definitely growing. Um, I'm going to get do just a video on, her, on an update about her um, in probably this weekend or the upcoming week. I just grabbed, got some time this uh, right now to do this video, so I'm taking it step by step. Congratulations to all the new mommies out there, um, um, my subscribers. I've seen your guy, you guys' labor delivery videos or whatever, your follow-ups after having a baby. I just haven't been able to comment much, but I have been, um, you know, viewing you guys posting. So, congratulations times a million. I know you guys are very ecstatic, and... Um, I hope you enjoy motherhood just as much as I am. Um, so if you guys have any comments, any questions for me um, regarding this topic that I discussed today, feel free to post them, send, send me messages in my inbox. I just really want to hear you guys' take on this because I'm in a bad headspace right now and I don't know how to handle the situation. Um, regardless if I don't get any feedback from this video or um, anyone close to me, you know, outside of YouTube, then I know I'm just going to have to do it on my own and just like whatever way I decide to do it, I'm sure I'll handle it in the correct way. You know, I'm not a, I'm not going to bash him, which some people would do, but I still make him seem somewhat decent. Um, 
which he doesn't even deserve, but whatever. I'm not going to keep babbling. I got to go, guys, but um, be safe. Love you guys, and I look forward to seeing more of you guys' videos and updates with your little cutie pies, and you'll be seeing more of me and Jordan. So, later. Mm -hmm.